Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, it is time to go through the new Focus Teacher Planners. We have been waiting for this. Um, EC decided to do their launch for Teacher Planners after their main launch this year, and it really kind of threw a lot of us teachers for a loop because we're used to seeing the Teacher Planner stuff sooner. Um, but your patience is being rewarded. All right, so this year I chose to review the Focus Teacher Planner selections. I love putting stickers in my planner and decorating it up, so I really was going for just a clean slate so that I could just put everything I wanted in there. And then, surprise, I did not know at the time when I chose that, that with the Focus launch, we were gonna get a new size. Here it is. This is the new size. We have a seven by nine on a coil, and then we have our tried and true focus planner in this beautiful camel vegan leather soft bound. So um, I know you really want to see this and you really want to see it like now, but we're going to do the soft bound first. <laughs> so this soft bound planner does come in two colors in the focused collection this year. So we have this beautiful camel color and then there is the sage half moon color that will be on the site. Um, there are a couple other patterns for soft bounds in the more colorful collections, but today I'm just reviewing the focused. So what makes it the focused collection is really just how streamlined it is, that there aren't a whole lot of colors in it and it's really open for you to create whatever you want. So on the inside of the cover, we have this beautiful pinstripe. Um, it lists teacher lesson planner and a place to put your name. It's a thicker paper here. All right, so in the front, you have your classroom information and Vincent volunteer information. Then it moves next to your communication log. And this paper is just so smooth. Um, and then you have your year, year glance calendar. And then here is your section where you can put goals or events or um, forward planning calendar. All right, after that, we get to the log and graph pages. You can put seating charts here, um, tracking learning data, um, any other information that you feel would work well in these grid pages. And you get a couple of pages with that. Okay, and then they put in the upcoming holidays and observances. So it's just real easy to flip through your book and find the information you're looking for instead of filling the um, monthly calendars with it. I really like that they did that for us here. And then starts your month. So at the beginning of every month, you get a full lined page for um, the beginning of that month, a half line page, and then this box here with dates to remember. I, I love using this one in um, my teacher planner because I can check off what's coming up. It's kind of like a pre-plan for the month. All right, so here is your monthly spread. And here it's just, it's simple. You have the previous month mini calendar here, the next month mini calendar here, so you can refer to them. Um, and then you have your month spread. So with the focus collection, again, you're not gonna have a lot of color. You're not gonna have a lot of design. This is like an empty space for you to create. All right, and then here is the teacher planner section. So along the top, you have smaller spaces, okay? So you have six columns for your lesson, pl lesson planning or subject areas or however you wanna separate that out. And then you have one long, almost to-do list section. Now, if you needed seven sections, you could easily turn this one into match the same here, just drawing in that line, making it darker. It, it fits, it's just the same. And then here on this section, you have your days of the week and the dates. So it is dated for you. Um, there are many sticker shops out there that make different stickers to go up here. A lot of people like to write it in. Uh, if you really wanted to make this a vertical, you could easily white this out and add your dates up to the top. So you get the daily, so it just keeps going. I love the, the understated lines in here. Um, so it goes through and then you get to the next month. So the next month you have August and you have your notes section, your monthly section with the mini calendars and then into the days. And the whole planner is gonna continue to go like that. So 
it's gonna be the same throughout. It's really a no muss, no fuss, no extra decoration type planner. Um, when you get towards the back, let's go, this goes July through June. Um, when you get towards the back, towards the end of June, you do have a note section. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight pages of the notes section for anything you need. It's great for meetings. And then you have the student checklist section. Um, so here it's grayed out and then the same color of the paper so you can easily track the lines. Um, what I've done in the past, because it's really hard to track, okay, I have a name coming all the way over here for the data. I've taken the names and used this column over here and added the same names and work this way in. Um, so it's easier for me to track. That's just, it works better for my eyes. Also, if you have more than the student, more students than there are lines, you can continue the rest of your class over here and kind of do the same thing here. You have 32 lines. Um, if you use this very top line here, um, you do have 32 lines, so 32 students. If you have more students than that, you could split it up. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those as well. So, and then you're at the back of the book. Now, the Focus Collection does not come with page protectors or a folder in the back um, or stickers, as far as I know, because this did not come with stickers. It does have, and I have to get to the top here. There we go. It does have two bookmarks. So it has a gray one, where's the other one? And then this navy blue one. So you do have two ribbon bookmarks that you can put wherever you need um, in your book to keep your place. Um, it does not have um, tabs for the months, but there are also vegan leather tabs on the site that you can get to add to the sides if you want tabs to get to your months. So this is a very clean, understated planner without all of the extra decoration for those who really like that look. All right, so that's it for part one of the review of the Focus Teacher Planners for this current launch. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be right back with my next video. I'll link it here for the Coiled 7x9. Bye.